What's going on you guys? I am sorry to start this video out with a workout right away without an intro clip, but I honestly forgot to record one and I just wanted to get this video out to you guys because I have been MIA very aware. If you saw my Instagram post, you know why and I will explain that further in another video. Starting off this workout was a dumbbell bench press. Um, we are doing the Lane Norton power building program right now. We are prepping for our first powerlifting meet. Um, the workout then moved into some lap pull downs. This upper body hypertrophy workout stuck with three sets of about six to eight reps on everything. Um, some of the workouts I did do more just because I'm stubborn. But um, we just have to keep the hypertrophy days lighter because by the end of the week our bodies are spent. You know, we have to save all our energy and endurance for the power building days. Um, power lifting, sorry. Um, so here I just added in some side oblique bends because it just feels really good honestly to stretch and I've 100% been slacking on the abs. So I was like I'll just add this in and then I also added in these upright rows with a plate because as you guys know I love to work out my traps and my shoulders. So then um, I had to obviously add a clip of the husband in because he has been getting me through the last couple weeks. Um, then moving on to the T-bar row and a military dumbbell shoulder press. Um, the reason he's been having to encourage me and push me through these workouts and the reason I've been in my A is due to some hormonal issues, which I want to do a whole video on because I think it's really important to talk about. Um, I'm reading an amazing book that I want to share with you guys that will really get you thinking about your own hormonal health, whether you actually have issues or not. It's just really important to take charge of the functioning of your hormones and endocrine system. So that is that. I will do a video on that, like I said, once I get my regimen down, because I kind of want to do like a full day of it. But I'm really excited. I'm actually drinking a very, very beet smoothie right now. Anywho, I don't know if you guys care. But then after the uh, dumbbell shoulder press, we moved on to the barbell curl. And then I decided to superset to that with some behind the head shoulder presses because this program lacks shoulder workouts and I've really been missing them. So on the upper body hypertrophy days, if I can squeeze them in, I like to because your girl needs her shoulder workouts. Then, moving on, last but not least, was the machine bicep curls. This was four sets, 20, 10, 10, 10. Um, it was very tiring. I was exhausted by the end of this workout, just due to being exhausted in general. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Thanks for watching. What's going on, y'all? Sorry for the rough appearance. It's just been a very long day. It's been a long week, honestly, and it is only Wednesday. Um, I've just been like really low energy this week. I don't really know what's going on. I have a hunch. Hormones? I mean, I don't know. I guess it could be like that time of the week. I don't really know. But I was gonna come home, drop some food off, go to the gym and do cardio today instead of like a big lift just because I'm like, I said my body's just like not really feeling it. But our grass needs cut and our riding lawnmower is in the shop, so it needs to be push mode, which will take well over an hour with our big yard push mowing it. So I figured I would do that for my cardio and do some steady state, like pushing a lawnmower, going up hills, doing that. That would be a good little workout instead of going and doing 20 minutes a hit. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. you guys that was 52 minutes and that's not including me forgetting to start my Fitbit and then once it was started I guess halfway through I realized it was sitting at 30 minutes on pause so I guess I accidentally paused it um, but as you can see I'm very sweaty like I said it is 90 degrees outside so according to my Fitbit and the actual time I remembered to start my Fitbit and that it wasn't on pause it's 52 minutes and over 300 calories 320 so i'm gonna estimate probably more like 400 for all the time i forgot to record or hit start um that is only the backyard 
can't do the front today. Like I said, 90 degrees, pretty much an hour of mowing just for the backyard, not including side yard or front yard. So we'll finish that tomorrow. But I'm gonna go inside and take a shower because I'm a greasy, sweaty, hot mess, as you can see. And Nick's got some salmon in the oven. I'm gonna eat that and make some zucchini noodles for it and relax and peace out. Cause like I said, it's just been a long day, a long week. I was just not feeling it this week. So at least I still got some exercise in. That's way more than I would have done if I went to the gym, honestly, cause I wasn't feeling it. And I just had that, you know, if you ever get that feeling where you're like, this is not gonna be a good session. So I'm gonna channel it into some housework and did more than I would have done at the gym. All right guys, I appreciate you for watching this video. Please like it. I hope you enjoy the workout. If you give it a shot, it's a good one. Um, just so you know, the workouts I'm doing right now are the powerlifting program from Lane Norton. So that is one of those workouts. Um, yeah, I mean, some, sometimes we do mix our own hypertrophy in with it um, on the hypertrophy days of the program. Just because there are some workouts I really enjoy in this from bodybuilding. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing right now. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.